John, right now we're on the beautiful beaches here at Princess Keys. Visitors say come. We want them to feel like they're the first ones ever to be here. But really, the sustainability mission, it connects to these destinations. For example, Kevin Cartwright, he's been the director. This is his home. He's worked here for 21 years. Everyone is a part of this mission. Exactly. Everyone on the Princess brand is focused on the environment. And I think Kevin's a great example. You're looking at someone who's been here for decades, who lives here, fishes, enjoys the environment. So it's inherent in his interest to keep the place beautiful. So really, it's about stewardship. Kevin, this is not only your job, but this is your home. You're invested here, aren't you? Totally. I'm um, a key component of the environment um, in my heart. You know, nine generations Bahamian have a 100% Bahamian staff on this island that adopts the same principles as I. I sit on the executive council of the Bahamas National Trust, which is a tremendous partner, NGO with the government, and we protect 32 national parks in the Bahamas. That's awesome. So Kevin, I know you have kind of an ingenious way to manage seaweed. That's a natural product of these oceans. It washes up in the beach. What do you do with it? You're on an island. Absolutely. We use it for compost and uh, fertilize around our coconut trees. Fantastic product. What are you doing here when it comes to recycling? We're huge on recycling. We separate our garbage. The uh, glass gets crushed. And Jeff, even with the aluminum cans, when they get recycled, the funds generated from it goes to support a local orphanage in the Bahamas. And we're able to not only have renewable resources, have sort of this closed loop of efficiency, but we're able to take some of that generated income that comes from recycling and use that to support and invest in the local community. Well, and it's about recycling and a focus on the environment, adding value, not being viewed as a cost to an operation. But John, it's just not here in the Bahamas. We're applying this methodology, the sustainability mission, to other destinations. Absolutely, every destination is unique and that's why we partner with local team members and the community to figure out what that destination needs. Such as Amber Cove in the Dominican Republic, it's Atlantic facing and they are challenged with erosion. So we're investing in erosion control. If you think about Mahogany Bay, we're replanting mangroves so we can you know, establish nurseries for the fisheries and stabilize these islands and locations. So there's a focus on being very efficient when it comes to recycling, plastics, metals. We know that we're taking advantage of the seaweed and turning that in. The sargassum that washes up becomes compost for these beautiful coconuts. But what about water? That's probably the most precious resource here, fresh water. Where does that come from? We are self-sufficient and we don't draw off the local community. We take the seawater and convert it into potable fresh water. That's awesome. I think for me, the biggest lesson that I've learned with Ocean Treks, that sustainability is critical, protecting habitat and wildlife and a better connection to nature. But if there's one great vulnerable resource, it's water. No matter where we are, that seems to be the big challenge today. What is Princess doing to ensure that we're renewable with water? Water is a common threat. It is precious. And so whether it's reclaiming our wastewater to use for irrigation or it is collecting rainwater to use in irrigation in our destinations. We treat water as a precious commodity. As it is on the ship, so it is on shore. Exactly. On Ocean Treks, we've told incredible stories from the Bahamas, whether it's restoring conch or sea turtle conservation or going out with local fishermen. But I think some of my favorite adventures have been in Alaska. Hey, there's no place more epic than our wilderness lodges in Alaska. What we are doing there as well is recycling all of our cardboard and sourcing 100% recycled paper products. That's awesome. And even when it comes to like plastic bags, eliminating single use plastic bags to going to things like renewable shopping bags. No doubt, single use plastic elimination is a universal focus across everything we do at Princess. Well, Kevin, thank you so much. Absolutely, thank you. Taking thank you. us to your beautiful backyard. And John, you ready for another adventure? Let's do it. All right, bye, Kevin. Yeah.